What's going on everyone? Welcome back to 2GOZ Garage. Recently I installed the rear disc brake conversion kit on my Toyota pickup, but I left the job unfinished. I ordered the lines for a Cadillac Eldorado, which is what the brake calipers are from. They have the same insert that these calipers require. What's gonna be difficult to figure out is connecting the existing line to the new line that I got. The new line that I got should connect directly to my caliper because it's off the same vehicle this caliper is off of. But what I need to figure out is how I'm gonna connect that line to my current existing line on the Toyota pickup. It is a little bit longer than what I expected. I was expecting them to be a little bit shorter, but hopefully we can still make them work. I already drove this truck on the road, gave it a good test drive, and the brakes are performing phenomenally. If you guys were wondering how they are performing, they're performing great, way better than the drums. 10 out of 10, it's like, it's a night and day difference. Obviously I gotta pop the wheels back off. I don't have to, but I'm gonna pop them off. That way I can work with it a little bit easier and we'll see what we have to invent. If I show you guys the line that I ordered, here is one of them out the box. Here is the part number. It's the AC Delco. See the part numbers right there. Okay, so big change of plans. Those lines that I ordered up, ended up not working for me. They were just way too long and there was no point in me cutting them up and using them. I just had no use for them. There was no way for me to use them up, like I said, and I said it already three times, but. <laughs> Anyways, I had to send those lines back. I went over to Lowe's and the good old Ace Cafe. Say what? I picked up some hardware parts that I should be able to make this work. I'll show you guys everything I have laid out. This is the first video that I'm gonna be making with my new 2GOZ Garage t-shirt. I'll put up a picture of how the back of the shirt looks. If you guys would like to get yourself one of these nice t-shirts, in the description of the video, I explain to you exactly how you can get yourself one. Very nice quality t-shirts. They're gilded, nice cotton material, not no cheap material, and they're just super clean. Let me grab all these parts out, and I'll um, lay them out for you guys. This is called a fixed pulley, zinc plated. Um, this is basically what I'm going to use as a roller to let the steel line roll on it. Of course, I got the steel line. What I'm going to use these for is to lock the line onto my existing line on the truck. I got four of those. I'm going to be using two on each side. And the most important piece to this is going to be this L bracket. We're going to have to cut it somewhere around right here. Hopefully right here, we can probably use this hole but most likely it'll be somewhere here and I'll have to use this hole. These are basically to lock the line in place. Once I get the whole system, you know, cut up and everything, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about, but the point is this L bracket is gonna go somewhat right here. I'm gonna try to use the existing bolts that I have holding on the hub. They are a little longer, so it works perfect. It's kind of hard for me to explain it and not show you guys, but I, what, like I said, once I get it done, uh, They really packed these things up. I don't want nobody to steal them. There you go. All right, so this is a roller. What I'm gonna do with this is bolt it right on top of this. Altogether, this was probably about 40 bucks. These brackets were, I think, like, like seven bucks a piece. These were like another seven bucks a piece. These were like a dollar something a piece. These were 85 cents a piece. And then this line wire was probably like Ah, like another 10 bucks. I think altogether it was like 40 bucks. Let's hope that we can make this work for 40 bucks. The first thing I need to do is cut up the brackets. I already marked them with the Sharpie where I need to cut them. We gotta get a carbide blade, probably use a grinder, and cut these things up. Be sure to wear your safety glasses. Look at that beautiful clean cut from the man to Jill Z Garage himself. Just gotta clean it up a little bit and this thing should be good to go. This is the finishing product. This is what I vision. It's perfect, nice and stiff. So you guys see the idea that I had in my head. The line should roll just right on this. Now I just gotta drill this hole out bigger so I can fit that bolt through that hole and then this thing should sit right there. Both holes are drilled out. I drilled the middle ones. That should be perfect placement. Now the bolt slides right through. So time to put this bracket in. 
All right, it's not 100% complete, but you guys can get the idea. You see, I got the line already connected, my spring. I put the lock in. That's the point of that, by the way. That way, it can pull that lever. And it's, there's the roller. Got it all nice and tightened up. Connected it to my existing line. Now I'm gonna pull the e-brake and see if this one works. Yep, it's tight. I got e-brake. Now we got e-brake. So this system is working perfectly, just how I wanted it to. By the way, if you guys are wondering how I cut that wire, I just use a pair of bolt cutters. I mean, it slices right through that. Clean setup all the way through. Nice and simple. I'm gonna double it, put one more there. That way that line does not move like for sure. Do the other side and we have ourselves an e-brake system. Good, we got e-brake. And just like that, we have a functioning e-brake system. All you gotta do is make sure that this line is tight before you put those U-clamp things, these things on. Put two of them just to be like on the safe side. Make sure it holds it tight. Very happy with the outcome. This thing works perfectly. Literally, I, I showed you guys when I pulled it, this thing stretched out, rolls on this, and then when I let it go, it comes right back out. It's perfect. There you go, you guys can see exactly what I was talking about. The only thing I didn't like is I wasn't able to put the bottom hole on. It's just gonna have to stay like that, but this thing is solid. This thing is not going nowhere. So I know the e-brake is working and is doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna put the wheels back on and I'll try the e-brake and we'll see if it works. And if it does, we did one hell of a job. Oh, maybe I can show you guys my shirt now. Check this out. Let's see if I put you guys like this. Turn around. Whoa, I'm at a trip. Check it out. Got Tina in the back, 2 Juicy Garage. And on the bottom it says living life at full throttle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you do, it looks amazing. Doesn't feel bad. Like this shirt is very comfortable. I love this shirt. I hope you guys do too. Thank you for all the support for everyone who bought one. I know a lot of people buying these shirts and want these shirts. I still have a lot available. So if you guys want to get yourself one, once again, look in the description of the video and it explains the way you can get yourself this nice swag. Good to go. Once I lower the truck, I'll torque them down to specs. Just like I always recommend you guys to do, torque them down. I just thought real quick before I let the truck down, I'll show you guys how it looks. The setup in the back, you can see I got my lines right there, right through, using all the factory stuff. I think the next thing I wanna get is shock absorbers for this thing. And like I mentioned in an earlier video, I'm gonna be powder coating this whole rear end, doing something pretty crazy. I need to do all the under coating under the truck before I get any more surface rust. I wanna protect it as much as possible, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the e-brake on, and I'm gonna try to push the truck to see if it moves. Okay, e-brake is on. Oh, there it is. It works. We got e-brakes. Now I can actually confirm that the disc brake conversion kit is officially complete. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are curious to see how you install the disc brake conversion kit. If you guys found this video useful, please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.